Welcome back. As students head back to school across the valley, you may be going through old school supplies that you no longer need, they're worn out, or maybe you're thinking about throwing them away. But some of them can be recycled. Jeremy Walters joins us now for Republic Services with what you can do with certain items. Good morning, Jeremy. How are you? Good morning. I'm well. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Uh, the sound is a little off, so I'm just going to ask you the questions, we'll get an answer. What types of back to school items are recyclable? So when it specifically comes to back to school items, think along the lines of what you can already recycle in your regular day to day lives. The paper, the cardboard, bottles, cans, things like that. There are other things that when you specifically go school shopping might require a little extra work. You know, packages like this, you can take the paper backing off, you can recycle that. The plastic does have to go in the trash, but think along the lines of your regular curbside recycling. Okay, and what types of material is best to reuse or donate? Think about the hard school supplies, the binders, the books, the pens, the pencils, the erasers. If they're still usable, maybe your kids have outgrown them, their styles have changed, consider donating them. Uh, you know, when it comes to like binders, there's a lot that have prints on them. They may have their favorite characters, but opt for maybe the ones that have the sleeve. You can print a picture of their favorite character, slip it in there, and then you can be able to reuse it for the next year. So you're not constantly going through whatever phase in their life uh, is what their preference is. So reuse pencils, the, the scissors, the rulers. I know rulers are made out of metal, but they don't go in the recycling bin because they're not a beverage container. So think reuse along those lines, and if they're not usable, then you can discard them. Okay, and what materials should we be throwing out, not recycling at all? So all those things that I listed should go in the trash if they're not usable, uh, but beyond that, flexible plastics. It's in probably most of your lunches, uh, you know, kids' lunches, the, the wrappers of, you know, whether they're gummy worms or chips or sliced apples. The flexible plastics are probably the biggest challenge that we see at our recycling center, so you've got to throw those things away. Uh, again, discard of the dried out markers, dried out glue, things that are unusable, those can go in the trash can. Okay, and it probably pains some people to have to throw so much stuff away, so how can we pack our kids' lunches more sustainably? Yeah, you're right, you know, and we want to try to be as environmentally friendly as possible, so think about sustainability when you're packing those lunches. Instead of the paper bag, opt for a lunch bag, right? A reusable lunch bag. Same thing with beverages, put them in a reusable container. Instead of Ziploc bags, get reusable containers. Uh, you can take them home, wash them, refill them, use them over and over again. So think about things that you can package in reusable materials rather than throwaway materials. I have that same lunch bag. Did you steal it out of our break room fridge? <laughs> That's, it's, it's actually my wife's uh, lunch bag, and so I'm wondering if she actually forgot her lunch today. <laughs> well, anyway, tell her she has great taste. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for the tips, Jeremy. And uh, for more information, you can always go to RecyclingSimplified.com. Let's send it to Sam.